friends. Let's talk about how we make the letter Z. So I want you to take a look at the chart one more time. So capital Z and small z, they are similar. It's just the capital one is bigger. The small one is, it's shorter. It's like half the size of the capital Z. All right, so capital Z reminds us of Z zebra. He keeps his head nice and tall. And then he has stripes going down his back all the way to his feet. And that's our capital Z. Small z is, it's the same, um, we write it the same way as capital Z, it's just smaller. So baby Z, he keeps his head tall, stripes all the way down to his feet. And that is the small Z. Okay, you watch one more time as I make it. So he keeps his head nice and tall. He has stripes all the way down his body, down to his feet. And that's our capital Z. Small Z, the small zebra keeps his head nice and tall. He has stripes all the way down his body to his feet. And that's our small Z. All right, one more time, let's sing our song and then I'll tell you a little fun fact about zebras, okay? Z zebra, Z zebra, Z says z, z, z. Zero six exhibit, zebra in the zoo, Z says z, z, z. All right, our fun little fact about zebras. When two zebras stand together, they stand back to back looking opposite direction. So if there's a zebra here, the other zebra would be over here and his back would be next to this zebra. So he would be facing the other way. And that is so that no people or animals can sneak up on them. So if they're grazing, they would stand back to back watching in both directions so that no animals would get them. That's kind of cool. God made them that way. All right, I'll see you later. Have a great day. Goodbye, friends.